and they're kind of upset with me. Not really upset, but they, they don't understand. Because I tell them all the time, we ain't rich. I'm rich. <laughs> yeah, we don't. No, you got to, you got to have bachelors or masters, and then if you want me to invest in one of your companies, you're going to have to present it. Boom, boom, boom. Bring it to me. I'll let you know. I'm not giving you nothing. Hey, guys. Welcome back again. And today I'm going to talk about kids and inheritance. And this stems from Shaquille and his interview we did um, recently where he says that his kids have to earn it. You know, they're not going to just get his wealth. And for those in the westernized Judea Christian society, there's a saying that we have heard in some fashion like that goes like this. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he's old, he will not depart from it. And believe me, I, I, I do believe in this. And this is irrespective of whether religious or not. It all is just uh, stipulating is that, hey, you have a child, you give them proper values, principles, um, guidance. And irrespective of whether they dismiss it or not, it will come back at some time later on. Like, oh, my mom, my dad said this and I'm going to utilize it. You know, kids today, irrespective of some of these poor countries, they're just, they're kind of lazy and entitled. You know, they have technologies, phones, just tap, 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 and things should come. But Shaquille O'Neal, you know, is saying, no, yes, you, you're off this area, but you're just not going to get stuff just simply because I'm rich and famous. I mean, Shaquille has over, what, $400 million in net worth. No joke, 400 million. Um, he's a, currently an NBA analyst, analyst with 50 different endorsement deals, such as um, Gold Bond, Reebok, Pepsi, The General. I mean, he has multiple dining ventures like Papa John's, Big Chicken, you know, stuff like that. So the guy has done well. And, you know, I think he's saying that he's trying to, he's trying to steer his children to avoid situations like dr dre's daughter latonya johnson we don't know the inner workings um she he she came before he got married to this now ex-wife right and she's a mother of four and she apparently she's living i think she's still now living out of her car and she started a gofundme to raise fifty thousand dollars for a better situation now people just went after dre created this big media back backlash but the catch is who knew who's to say that dre didn't have a relationship with with her and she messed it up i believe dre's um wanted to communicate all with her only through her lawyer because at one point she went to the press now we don't know that but the cat my point is is she obligated to his wealth simply because of familial linkage i'll say no because let's be frank guys when you're old does that mean that your child will give you respect love no it's not guaranteed <laughs> okay your kid gets rich you don't expect your kid to give you the oh yeah dad you're my best i'm gonna give no your mom no heck no come on now let's let's be real folks so i don't see why people are getting so upset with that situation but you know Shaquille O'Neal is trying to steer his kids from that type of path that's pretty much what he's doing so Shaquille O'Neal said this too right you got to have bachelor's or master's degrees and then if you want me to invest in one of your companies you're going to have to present it boom 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 bring it to me I'll let you know I'm not giving you nothing that's the thing that's that's the way to go Here's, I'm going tell you what I get from this. Number one, Shaquille O'Neal is fair. In real life, if I didn't know you, we're not a family, this is how you will have to do it. <laughs> okay? Even in relationships between a male and a female, a guy has to initiate. He has to present his resources, confidence, that the ability to protect, to provide for a woman in order for her to invest herself in him same thing you got to figure it out people need to figure it out there's a saying that goes at like this by the sweater sweat of your bro shall you eat food guys you got to work okay we are made to work 
it doesn't matter if you're working in um, a garbage truck you're working in a dump you're working behind a computer you're a ceo it doesn't matter it's work if you don't utilize your skills you're losing if you don't utilize your your muscles i mean if you stop ex if you exercise and you stop exercising what happens your muscles becomes weak same thing with your brain cells if you don't learn something new on a regular basis read and so forth what happens eventually you become illiterate okay so it, it, it's something that carries over in life i like that he says also there's one rule education i don't care if we play basketball i don't care about none of that listen i got six kids would like a doctor someone to own a hedge fund a pharmacist a lawyer someone that owns multiple businesses someone to take over my business but i tell them i'm not going to hand you you gotta earn it and this is the way come on now that's how you should do it guys that's how it should go he, he, he uh, these things people unfortunately even grown folks they don't know this i mean they don't it, it, there's something i learned about also i'm talking about is that it, there's a particular value you learn by this people people value things that they have to work and earn if it, it is not a joke watch carefully even your own kids if you give somebody something and they didn't have to earn it right they won't know the value they sometimes don't even respect you for it <laughs> okay as when they lose it then they know they have a good thing so you know the saying that goes uh give a man a fish and you feed him for a day teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime that's what he's doing he's trying to teach him for the be uh teach them to fish for a lifetime and you know i i am i am 100 done with this dude on this with with his saying i mean nothing guaranteed in life nothing is guaranteed in life so you know this oh yeah you're 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 rich and famous nah as he said he, he put it rightly we ain't rich i'm rich <laughs> i'm the one with the wealth not you <laughs> you need to go to the all with the pain the days of you know playing long days away for your family so the, the, the media the, the media onslaught the, the ridicule all of that why are you just coming in like oh yeah i'm just i'm just gonna get this heck no <laughs> okay <laughs> you ain't getting jack squat you gotta earn that earn it but that's my two cents you know um again guys let's just earn this the script the value of hard work you know always keep learning you know like shaquille neal he didn't stop after he finished playing he said you know what i'm going to keep learning and i respect him for that that's my two cents for the please like and subscribe until then bless